Uh, I'm going to share with you um, some uh, information in regard to the uh, second coming of the Mashiach, or the, and also where people get the rapture mixed up with the second coming. Um, this has caused a lot of confusion. Um, a lot of people, you know, get into where um, they think that the rapture is the same thing as the second coming of the Messiah, the Mashiach. And so they see certain scriptures and they believe that this is at the end of the tribulation because we do know that the, the, the Messiah does actually physically come. Uh, the timing of his coming is at the end of the tribulation because the purpose of his coming is to to destroy the enemies of Yasharel that are coming against them. And this is at the battle of Armageddon. The scripture declares that we shall uh, come back with him. So in order for us to come back with him, we also have to be with him before that happens. Now, when I say we, I'm talking about the body of the Mashiach, the, the, the church, the body of the, of the Messiah, are those that have been born of the Ruach HaKadosh, born of his spirit, and we are the body of Mashiach. We're also the bride of Mashiach. Um, but he, we will be coming back with him at the end of the tribulation. Now, again, a lot of people uh, don't understand that the rapture is a separate event that's that, that Paul wrote about in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Um, he also wrote about it in, um, in, in 2 Thessalonians, uh, which we're going to read here in just a minute. He also uh, mentioned this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 and 52, talking about that he would show us a mystery that we would not all sleep, but that we would all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Of course, this is a, a reference to the resurrection. Now, the resurrection... Is, is, is if you don't like the word rapture, then you could just use the word resurrection because that's what it's all about. It's to resurrect those that have died before us, that those that have died in the Messiah, in Mashiach, and those that are alive on the earth, that at one time Yahushua is going to call us up together as his bride, those that have died before us and those that are alive on the earth, and so shall we ever be called up with him to ever be with him, as he stated. Now, if you remember... In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, and I'm going to read a few verses here first, that he even the, uh, prophesied this, the Messiah. He says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Elohim, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. <laughs> oh, I love it. And uh, he says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Now, where is the Messiah right now? He's in heaven. And he said that he was going to prepare a place for us, but that he was going to come back and receive us unto him. Now, this is not a reference to the second coming or at the, at, the, at the end of the tribulation when he's coming to execute judgment upon the ungodly, to execute uh, judgment upon the, those that are coming against the nation of Yasharel. He's coming back with us, but he's coming back also in judgment. But, he, but he's coming back for his body, for his bride before that. And, and I believe that, and, and, and I've shared with this on other sessions, that whatever the, the scripture talks about, the day of the Lord or the day of Yahuwah is really what it says. It's talking about a time frame. It's not talking about one particular 24-hour period of time as a day. But the day of Yahuwah involves the, uh, I believe it starts with the, with the rapture of the church. And then, it, then the tribulation period will kick in, which is a part of the day of Yahuwah. It's a day of vengeance. It's a day of wrath. It's a day of Yahuwah's anger being poured out upon the earth. It's a, it's a time frame of judgment for the sinners. It's a time of Jacob's trouble or Jacob's trouble. And uh, to bring Yasharel to, to a, a re revelation of who their Messiah is, that they'll turn to him during this time frame. It says over oh, the book of, of uh, Hosea or Husha, Husha that in their affliction they shall seek me early. And this is talking about the nation of Yasharel. So we have to have a, 
proper understanding of who the scripture is talking about in certain areas because this is where a lot of people get confused and they think that there's either no rapture or that the rapture happens at the at the end of the tribulation but I'm here to tell you that's that's not accurate that's not that's false that's that's causing a lot of people to just be casual about their walk with Yahuwah they're not really prepared and when you need you and I need to be prepared Yahushua himself said be ready you know that we were to watch and to be ready for his for his coming and to and to uh, be uh, and, and the reason for it is not only for our own selves that we that we are living a separate life unto him, but that we also can warn our relatives, our friends, and those that do not know him, that to urge them to come to a time of repentance and receiving Yahusha Hamashiach as their savior before the day of Yahuwah takes place. Thank you for your time today. We'll pick this up in our next session. Shalom.